U.S. Customs and Border Protection spokesperson says when questioned about his citizenship, Mohanad El Sheikh gave them a work permit and Oregon driver's license. They say those are not legal for verifying his status as an asylum seeker, but El Sheikh disagrees. In his interview with Salon, a news and politics website, El Sheke says asylum approval is four pages with a big tarp attached to them. He says you can't carry those papers in a wallet because of this or in his backpack out of concern for losing it. He also pointed out the Border Patrol's latest website update says you do not have to carry your papers because they are available electronically. In regard to the paperwork being too much to carry, Border Patrol spokesperson Bill Kingsford says since El Sheke has been granted asylum, he would have had this form, I-797A. At the bottom of the page is a small portion, which is the I-94 form, the paperwork showing that a person is in the asylum process. He says this portion would be detached and must be carried with the person, even citing the law that requires immigrants to carry appropriate papers with them at all times. He isn't sure why El Sheke felt the need to carry all the papers because he would have been fine with just his I-94 form. And as for an I-94 form being located on online, he says right now only those arriving via air and sea would fall under this program. Those arriving at a land port of entry would still receive a paper form. And even though the traveler would not receive documentation, he says they would still receive a stamp that's typically placed on a passport. He says this allows agents doing an immigration inspection to locate quickly if a person is in the United States legally. So the Portland comedian would have been fine if he had the wallet size I-94 form on him at the time he was questioned. And as for papers being available online, El Sheke would have still needed something to show his status, like his passport, which may have had that stamp. Amanda Broly, Crime 2 News.